I've been trying to wrap my head around ECS lately. ECS, short for Entity Component System, is when you have your game architecture separated into three distinct layers. Entities, which have a list of their components, components, which are literally just variables that hold data, and systems, which is where the functions and code that operate on your data exist. It's generally typical for people to start learning game dev with OOP, Object Oriented Programming. In OOP, you work with objects. They hold the data and the code that operates on the data. As far as I can tell, all you need to do to go from OOP to ECS is take your data out of your object and put it somewhere else, and take your code out of your object and put it somewhere else, and then call those two things a component and a system, respectively. In GDScript, there's no way to make ECS as most people intend it, as it requires knowledge on memory management, which GDScript can't really work with, but I'm finding an ECS approach useful for managing my strategy game project as I expand on it. Godot's a little weird though. It really encourages you to use components, but to keep the code in the same place as the data, aka to treat those components like objects. I think this is because it's easiest for beginners to learn, as having a gun node with the data and code for the gun to shoot is really easy to understand, and moving things into different components quietly teaches a very important paradigm about separation of responsibility, without having to force it down anyone's throats. There is something kind of irking me about this though. I'm working on making my strategy game more modular. At runtime, I can turn whole game systems on and off. Currently, the game has a population script, which contains economy, approval, and population growth functions. When I move the economy and approval code into separate scripts, I then have the power to turn off the economy and or the approval systems entirely. In this scenario, I'm calling the economy and approval systems subcomponents. They exist as a modifier to my components. Generally, you want to build your components as black boxes. A gun only knows how to be a gun, it knows how to shoot, and some other node or script might decide what bullet it shoots, or modify how often it shoots. The gun does not care about any other scripts, and continues to gun. But the other scripts aren't black boxes. Like my economy and approval scripts, they exist specifically to modify the component that they are related to. I'm calling them subcomponents, but they aren't exactly components per se, more like modifiers? If I made them like components, then I would need a third script to connect the population component and its subcomponents together. Speaking of which, when you have these components, black boxes as they are, you generally need to connect them together. A targeting component may find targets, but it doesn't know what is using its targeting information. A movement component may move in a direction, but it doesn't know what is telling it the direction it needs to move in. In OOP in Godot, this is the job of the parent of these components. It takes the target found by the targeting component and gives it to the movement component to walk towards, or to the gun component to shoot at. I'm starting to see architecture as a combination of these three things. Components, which operate as black boxes. Subcomponents, which modify the information or code in components. And parents? Objects? Entities? Which connect multiple components together to share important information between them. The combination of these three things can then be treated as its own black box component being entirely self-contained. My favourite way of describing game dev is that you're building a machine made up of smaller machines, and then you build a bigger machine made of those machines, and you just keep going until you have a game. I think I've been describing this in an object-oriented manner, but I'm pretty sure for subcomponents and parents, all you have to do is take the data and scripts out of each and put them somewhere else. Ask me in a month or four, maybe I'll have learned better. Alright, peace.